good afternoon i think i would uh, briefly uh, inform you about this uh, in english uh, now uh, sri lanka is going to become the first country the first and the only country in the world with doctors who have not been recognized by their own medical council now there are medical councils in most of the countries in the world at, at least in the civilized countries in the world not only the developed countries but in the developing countries and underdeveloped countries as well in all these countries the medical profession and the medical education is regulated by their respective medical councils so we are going to make history by becoming the first and the only country to have doctors who are not recognized who have not received a, an a medical education which is not recognized by their own medical council and the gmoa which has been in the forefront of this battle to preserve standards of medical education and standards of medical profession is in the forefront of this struggle to preserve our excellent healthcare system which has been producing healthcare indices compared comparable to the best of the developed countries in this world now in our struggle to preserve the standards and to defeat the attempts by the saitam uh, so called medical college to circumvent the sri lanka medical council and register their uh, students who have whom they say that have passed out as doctors so in our struggle we are planning to form a broad alliance with political parties both in and out of the government the students the student unions university teachers both medical and non medical and parents organizations as well as civil society groups so we will be forming a broad alliance in this regard because standards of medical education and standards of the medical practice not only affects the medical profession or the medical students it affects the general public more than anybody else it affects the general public because as doctors we know whom to turn to when our children or ourselves are sick and medical student also have the knowledge they know whom to go to when they are sick or their friends or relations are sick but it is the poor general public who are taking treatment from government hospitals and government institutions who can't choose who their doctor is going to be it is these ordinary citizens of this country who are going to be affected by substandard doctors coming and practicing medicine in this country because they can't choose and they will be compelled to be treated by whoever is available to treat them so the government medical officers association as well as the the medical students and the broad alliance we are planning to form to fight this issue is fighting this on behalf of the people of the country we are fighting to preserve the rights right to life of the citizens of this country because if you weigh the right to, to education and the right to life i think the right to life carries much much more weight than the right to education and the government medical officers association with our membership as products of the 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 very uh, the excellent high education system and the excellent education system in the country we believe that education is a right for every citizen every child in this country but the right to education doesn't mean that you have a right to engage in a profession without being properly qualified right 
it is not only in the medical profession even in other professions if you are going to be a professional you have to be duly qualified in the correct pathway if you are not qualified properly then you cannot practice your profession properly and especially in the medical profession this is very important as we are dealing with lives of patients day in and day out minute by minute hour by hour we have already had discussions with the joint opposition the party is uh, consisting of the joint opposition the, the the sri lanka freedom party joint opposition fraction as well as the the new uh, sri lanka podujana peromuna and the mep lssp and the pivithuru hela urumaya as well as uh, with the janata vimukta peromuna on yesterday and today we had discussions with the uh, the inter university students federation so we will, we have already written to the uh, the other parties the united national party and the sri lanka freedom party and the jati ke hela urumaya uh, to discuss this issue with them and discuss this issue as a issue of national interest and we have already written to the his excellency the president regarding this issue in writing and we are hoping for a favorable reply uh, from him and the the duty of the health minister and the higher education minister is to for the health minister to preserve develop and develop the health care system and the medical education and the higher education minister's duty is to preserve and nurture the higher education system both government and private in the country as well as to maintain high standards of higher education system both in the private sector as well as the government in sector right so in this issue we have seen that the both ministers have failed miserably to do their duty by the people they have miserably failed to do their duty for which they have been elected and which they have been appointed to the cabinet and we see a clear difference between the former health minister and the president the for, the present president stands on this issue and the present minister of health stands in this issue and though but we don't see a clear difference between the present the past present uh, high education ministers and the past high education minister stands on this issue so what we tell you the our media friends is to take this message to the people and don't look at this issue as an issue affecting only the medical profession and the medical students this is an issue affecting the country right sri lanka is going to be the first country only country to have substandard doctors who are not duly trained and who doesn't have proper medical council recognition so take home this message and let us spread the message and we are hoping for a favorable outcome and until a favorable outcome comes the gmo will continue in its struggle as we have done in the past